Good morning, American Jiu-Jitsu. Welcome. We are back at the dojo. Today we are doing brown belt two. There are three levels of brown belt. It actually goes backwards. Brown belt three, which is the first level. Brown belt two, which is the second level. And brown belt one, which is the last level of brown. And then we go into Shodan black belt. So today we're gonna to work on the second level of black belt, oh, excuse me, brown belt. And a very unique topic. One of uh, the things that really uh, made me know jiu-jitsu was the right blend of art for me. Uh, a thing that you might watch, especially because we are considered a combative jiu-jitsu art, and might be confused about the traditionalism of the technique. This technique is very famous in the world of Aikido. Uh, remember that Master Yoshiba uh, was first a jiu-jitsu master and then created his own art, Aikido. Uh, so we do it in such a way uh, where we keep some of that traditionalism in it, but the dot, dot, dot of this technique is a person attacking you with a long weapon, whether it be a sword, a stick, a baseball bat, and these are things that we will cover later on in videos. But today, we're introducing the Shihu Nage, which means a four-corner throw, which means that it goes in every different direction, and when you turn your body, you're gonna be in avoidance of the weapon that's coming at us. Um, so when we teach it to you, we teach it open hand, because we wanna train you and teach you to learn this technique. Um, we use a Tazabaki on the block. Um, honestly, uh, at the level that you're at, everything you've learned prior is a little bit of an easier or more of a combative technique than this. This technique has what I call a dot, dot, dot. It's training you for what's to come. Although in itself, it's a very good technique from all your punches, it's a wonderful technique from the self-defense category that we're also gonna cover that you could use immediately. So, I'm not saying this is not a technique that you couldn't use tomorrow, but it's a technique that I always say has a dot, dot, dot. Meaning, as you train more, the understanding, the proficiency, the methodology of this technique becomes more of a natural thing. Um, so, appreciate here where lies some of the traditional part of our Jiu Jitsu, uh, and then look forward to where this comes into much more of a combative and brutal technique. But right now, it's more of the classical traditional uh, the, from the punching, and then in self-defense, actually we go with the momentum, and it's a beautiful technique to blend into self-defense, which we'll cover on this video as well. So today we have, again, Shihan, Kathy, and Billy practicing social distancing. They're a married couple who lives in their home. I'm a single guy who lives in my home, so we've been quarantined from the actual public world. Uh, they have volunteered to come and help us, uh, help me with these videos, because this is one of those techniques that really needs an uki tor, which means a, an attacker and an opponent. Uh, so I thank you and I'm blessed to be able to have them. These videos are posted every day on our Facebook group, group page, which is American Jiu Jitsu LI. Every day there's a video posted. And at American Jiu Jitsu LI YouTube, these, there's a whole library of these videos that is actually posted a little further in advance than the Facebook page. The, the YouTube page might confuse some of the newer students. The Facebook group page would be more appropriate because it's, a pro, it's sending one video out at a time. Also, we have Zoom meetings every day, uh, both in St. James, Maplewood, New Jersey, as well as Manhattan, that all of our American JITSA students are able to come to and, and view. Uh, if you go to our website, ajjcenters.com, it'll give you all the Zoom codes. If you'd like to know the password, either reach out to another American JITSA student, or you can email me at osenseijoe at gmail.com. Identify who you are and I'll send you the password, but we're trying to keep you busy and we're going to try to keep you active during this uh, Bit of a new normal, uh, but soon we'll be back at the dojo a video does not do American just justice But it's keeping you busy right now, and that's the most important thing you need to do Don't be taking a vacation. You need to keep your routine going. You need to keep busy You need to keep training. You know if you sit in bed for a week You're gonna have a hard time walking if your mind doesn't think jujitsu you're gonna forget it and today with today's climate and environment you need your martial arts more than ever. Not only for the physical application, because people can get a little crazy this time of the, at this time, but also for the mental application. So, keep training, we're here to do that for you. I hope you enjoy the tape. We're gonna start off with some punching and then we're gonna get self-defense technique. Technique again today is called Shihu Nage, which means four corner throw. So, again, we're introducing Shihan, Kathy, and Billy. We're gonna take it from a high punch initially. So on a high punch, he's gonna step with a Tazabaki. So as, he th as uh, Shihan throws a punch, he steps with that Tazabaki. He strikes with a light attempt to the face. Now watch, the first one we're gonna do slow, then we're gonna pick up a pace. As he turns one, okay, he continues to turn, 
two, three, and then all the way around to four. And notice how he had a perfect off balance on Kathy, or she on Kathy, throughout the whole technique. Remember what I said, this is a little bit more of a traditional, a little bit more irregular from what you've seen, because the other techniques seem to go more in the combative mode right, right away. American Jiu-Jitsu, like I say, is a mixture of our traditional art, but our end result is combative Jiu-Jitsu. This needs to be taught in that traditional way so that when we get to a person coming at you with a sword or a baseball bat or a stick, whatever it might be, and we will show you some knife today as well, we need to learn the fundamentals and the traditionalism of this art. So you'll see that done a little bit slower with the punching, and then we'll go into the self-defense application, which is just a beautiful application. With all of the punches, you'll notice he's going in with the Tazabaki to avoid that swing. So as he comes in, that swing just went by. As he striked and came around and hit those four corners, one, two, three, and four, the arm is bent. And notice when Kathy had a perfect off balance, as she had a perfect off balance, she was always off balance, and then you just take that hand and throw it down. If you're watching the video and you say, I don't believe that technique, you come to my dojo and I'll show you that technique. All right, and then you'll be a believer. This is not about us proving anything to you. This is about giving you some information so you can work. But again, you can't talk back to the video. You're welcome to come into the dojo at any time and we'll show you why these techniques are what we call combative jiu-jitsu. We're not here to challenge, we're here to teach. You know, one thing I must say and add to this video is the world seems to be a cleaner place and a less hostile place. I don't see as much negativity on social media, which I'm so happy to hear. And I think that we should take a lesson from this and keep on being positive. If we don't understand something, like we don't understand this virus, what we do is we learn about it and become better prepared the next time. All right, so with a straight punch, with a straight punch, she, he goes in with the Tazabaki, go into Tazabaki for now, yeah, Tazabaki. From here, boom, use that same atemi, does that same four corner movement. There's what they call north, south, east, west, takes her down and brings her right down. These techniques are very, the same, very uh, traditional. Let's do the same exact technique from a high punch. Again, stepping with the Tazabaki. Block, Tammy, come around, and move. Let's do that one more time, but let's do this from a low punch. That was my fault on the okay. call. A low punch, Tazabaki. Boom, there's your Temi. Here's the four corners. Notice foot to foot, if you can see that. From here, he turns and throws and brings it down. Even with the high wedge, the high wedge, we're gonna lead in with that atemi though, and we're gonna go with that cornering movement. So the high wedge, he leads in with the atemi, does the same four corner throw, gets to the back, throws down, and the same thing, he's gonna lead in with that atemi on the low wedge attack and move forward with that. There's your technique, there's your movement, coming around and here, perfect. Let's go into the self-defense application. What I love about the self-defense application, well, before we go into the self-defense application, we got a couple more punches. So now, Shihan is gonna be uh, facing me, uh, and, and Shihan Kathy is gonna throw a punch to the back. So as he does that, he turns into that from here, and again, goes right into that four-corner type of a throw. Okay, so now if, if uh, he's, he turns to the camera, so he punches okay. the front of his face. Okay. All right, so now he punches, he punches to the front of his face. Yeah. You turn to me, that's right. Boom, yeah, yeah, keep going. From here, perfect, perfect. And make the move. Okay, so now let's look at it from a cross wrist grab. Now what's beautiful about a cross wrist grab, but I always use this example when I teach, and I hope it translates on a video, is you ever park next to a car where the car next to you starts to roll and you hit your brake even though you're not moving? That's a deceptive thing, and that's kind of the similarity that we talk about with this technique. As Shihan takes the hand and turns the hand up, brings the elbow to elbow, the person could be believing that what Shihan Billy is doing is going with her technique, so therefore, she's not gonna to look to resist. And even if at that point she looks to pull back, she's falling right into my hand. So this is a crochet grab to Shihan Gay works perfectly at any level. So from here, as he turns the hand, brings her in close, from here, steps around, and does that same four corner throw, just like so. It's the same thing with a, cross, a straight wrist grab, but now he's gonna feed the hand to the opposite hand. All right, so he's gonna take that cross wrist grab as she's pushing, he's gonna step back and feed that hand and go right into that she who negate four corner throw. Yeah, right there, elbow to elbow, comes around, beautiful she who negate. 
if she's standing right now to the side of him, well, she, he's standing to the side, it's the same thing. It's just a little nuance that we show where he's going to take that same thing, take that same throw, come around, and bring him down, bring her down. Now, if she grabs with two hands, what we call maroto, two hands, he's going to chop to the thumbs to break the grab from here, elbow to elbow, and come right into that shihu negate. Perfect. Now, when a person grabs us with a, a double lapel grab, what we're going to do as they grab us with that double lapel grab is spear to the throat to release the hand. So they're grabbing us with that double lapel grab, spear to the throat, and then we're going to take that four corner throw, put it in place, and bring it down with the shihu negate. Boom. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. If it's a one-hand lapel grab, it's the same thing. It's just another variation. From here, spears to the throat, elbow to elbow, brings her up and around, and there's your shihu negate. Beautiful. Okay? When you're looking at the techniques, you'll notice that there's a simplicity with Shihan Billy, and of course the wonderful uking of Shihan Kathy, but there's a, a gentleness that you might say. Remember, jujitsu in English, that's what it means. It means a gentle art. It doesn't mean we're gentle with the attacker. It means it doesn't require physical strength to perform these techniques. So, when learning Shihu Nige, to me, many, many years ago, because I was a kickboxer, and I was a fighter, and I was a grappler, and I was a, a judo guy, I was a karate guy, when I saw this, I was like, kind of like wowed by it, because I was like, how can you take a person down with something that seems so gentle, but yet if you haven't had it done to you, you gotta be careful of ripping the person's shoulder off their body when you get a little more vicious about this. So I was very, uh, uh, let's say, uh, wowed by this technique, and uh, now I've taken it to a level where I realize how to bring it into people's mind in teaching it a very traditional way, and then going into the more combative way later on. But don't knock something you don't understand, all right? That's what learning is all about. We don't understand this whole thing that's going on. But what we do know is we can take it one day at a time, we can learn from it, and be better prepared if this ever happened again. Every martial arts studio, every business will be video ready, God forbid if something like this ever happened, or whoever you believe in happens again. So what we don't understand in life, we learn from, and we become better, stronger people. So let's continue. This technique, we can spear to the person's throat, but we're gonna just show you another concept where when a person grabs with a front finger choke that if you push the hands together, the front choke doesn't work. And I'll get more into detail with that when you come back to the studio, but for right now, trust me on this. By the way, we're not gonna let a person put a grab on us, all right? We're gonna to try to react before the person puts a grab on us. In the beginning, we teach it to you as the grab is put on, uh, but then as you become more trained, you realize you don't let people put hands on you. So what Shihan Kathy, uh, Billy's going to do on this one, he's going to press the hands together, which basically diffuses the person. It's almost like popping a hole in a straw, where if you try to suck out of the top of the straw, nothing happens. He's going to push that hands together. He's going to go right into the Shihan Gate concept and take uh, Shihan Kathy right down. So as she comes, he pushes the hands together, elbow to elbow, right there, Shihan Gate, and it's done. Moving on to a rear finger choke. Now this is a technique where she's pushing on him and all he's gonna do is as she's pushing is go with it, come around, go right underneath with the hand and the shihun again blends in very, very pretty here. So as he pushes, he walks to the outside, just keeps on going, turn and blends in. A lot of times in the martial arts you'll hear about it, it's about going with. Whether it be mixed martial arts, whether it be any art, we know that if a bull is charging at us, if we let that bull go, that bull's gonna fall on the ground. It's like when a person shoots at us sometimes. When we stand there and try to fight it, we gotta be on our game. But sometimes we can just let that person go and we can use their momentum to our advantage. So this is learning about, learning how to use a person's body weight or using their force against them to allow us to be able to execute these techniques. The reason why this lies at a higher level is because you have to have the confidence to be able to perform these techniques. So in the beginning, we teach you the more cruder techniques, the striking to the eye or the knee strikes, and then as you become more trained and more experienced, then you start to learn techniques like this. Okay, so now let's look at a forearm choke. We take the principles of what we did at a basic level. We know that we gotta tuck the chin on a forearm choke so we don't get choked. We know we gotta press the hands in so the person loses their strength. And now we're gonna control that elbow, walk out what I call the front door, and you'll see Shihu Nagei will be right there. Why don't you do this right facing the camera? All right, so he presses, he tucks from here, 
moves from here to the outside, from here comes around, and there's a perfect shihun again. Nice and simple. And it is as easy as that when you learn it. But you know, it's like I always say, watching a person paint, if they're a professional, looks very easy. When you do it yourself, you usually mess everything up. So it looks easy because Shihan Kathy and Shihan Billy now have been training over 25 years. So, you know, it's something that's a process. So it might look easy on video, it might look easy when I'm explaining it to you, but yes, it takes some time to learn it. That's why when you return to the dojo, we can answer your questions better, and we hope that's sooner than later. Let's look at a person grabbing us in um, kind of like a headlock, okay? Kind of ripping us down to the headlock. He's gonna just go with the force, walk out the front door, bring it right around into a shihun again. Always remember when watching something like this, this is not the only technique that exists from this self-defense application. If you watch some of the prior videos, you know there's many applications as, as simple as when the person grabs that, that rear headlock to go down and give it up a strike, up a cut right to the groin, right? So if she, uh, Kathy was to grab him and he was to go down, he could just go to boom and strike to the groin. So that's what we teach at the basic level. Like I said, as you're progressing through the system, you're seeing techniques that are more blending. So if you're watching this one video and you're like, well, you know, I wouldn't do that. Well, that's good, all right? After you've been doing it for 50 years and teaching a system called American Jiu-Jitsu, then you can make that opinion. But right now you're watching one clip, one video, one technique, and there's many more that are preceding this, and there's many more after this. So this is a concept, a theory, and a technique that you have to take at its own value right now. All right, so now we're going to move on to a rear overarm bear hug. Okay, so he's going to do some of the basic fundamentals from here, step on the foot, pop to the head, and walk out that front door. There you go, walking out that front door, and there's, oops, ah, she even gave. You notice that expression on Sensei Kathy's uh, body? Uh, you notice that she was in a little bit of pain there. All right, Tamalock. Uh, so let's go rear underarm bear hug. All right, rear underarm bear hug. From here, tap into it. Again, walking out the same way. From here, elbow to elbow, and she who gay. Okay, and then uh, we have two more self-defense techniques. Uh, the next one is a hammerlock. So as the person pushes on the hammerlock, he's gonna go forward, just like a cross to grab. He's gonna walk underneath, from here come around, and bang, throw that person right down. And last technique from a self-defense standpoint, self-defense technique is the two arms from the back as he pushes forward and takes her down, okay? From here, takes her down, goes around, boom, and here, takes her right down, perfect, okay. All right, let's take the knife. We have five more techniques, and these techniques are all understanding of things that we've already done with the Tazabaki, but all of these techniques are gonna go right into Shihun again. So on the first one, number one, block a temi from here. Notice how he avoids the body. That's what this technique is all about. From here, and throw, okay? Notice how he's avoiding the body, because this technique does come from a sword, but we introduce it from a short knife first. Number two, he goes to the outside. From here, using the same concept, elbow to elbow, walks to the outside. From here, she who get okay? Same exact thing with number three. He does the tazabaki, moving to the inside. From here, avoidance, avoiding the body. From here, around, and she who get We have two more techniques. And then number four, Remember, these, this person's hitting, hitting themselves on a mat. This could be much more brutal if it was on the street. Number four, he goes to the outside, elbow to elbow from here, and throws, and last one, he goes sharply to the inside uh, and uh, ends up with a shihunigay as well. So she comes at him, from here he goes to the inside, from here temis, from here comes around and throws the person. That is your complete brown two shihunigay. Remember these are on Three, uh, these are on the Facebook group page, American Jiu-Jitsu LI, and on the YouTube. If you go to YouTube, remember to click, subscribe, and like. We wanna get a thousand viewers on that. Um, listen, when we don't understand things, we get very panicky. Uh, one thing I've learned about this whole epi uh, pandemic is that people are calming down a little bit more. Not that we understand it fully, but we understand it a little bit better. Same thing with Jiu-Jitsu. In the beginning, people might see something like this and get all a little panicky. You gotta give yourself time. Everything is cured with time, all right? Uh, we got three things that you always gotta remember. You gotta stay home, you gotta stay healthy, and you gotta stay safe. Continue to work on your mind and develop your, your inner self so when we come out, we'll be ready for the new normal. Thank you so much.